Gold. All right, so here's what we do, guys and gals. I want to get you prepared before Ninja 8 is released. Here, the, it's going to be probably the second week of January when we're going to be showing it in the room, and you'll be able to lease it on any markets. It's an aero-based system uh, with market profile. If I can get you to learn how to trade market profile even without the arrows, and then when they do fire, you're going to understand the internals of the market and why it's doing what it's doing. So the first thing we're going to do, the first order of business, what we do when we log in on any market, I have a trend filter built in already on top of my market profile. And the trend filter is right here. There are two moving averages. Moving averages are worthless. You can't use them for support and resistance, maybe for confluence. Other than that, they're lagging. You can't use them. You can use them for trend direction, not for support and resistance. And for trend direction, you want to look at the trend. The market can only do two things on any given market on any given day. Any futures market, any stock, any Forex market, doesn't matter. If the trend is up, then the magenta is going to be angled up. That means we're a net buyer. We're looking for net arrows for Ninja 8 coming out, or we're looking for retracement buys. We're looking for buy arrows. We're looking for buy market profile. We're looking to buy market profile. We're not looking to sell it. So if I'm angled up, I'm looking to buy retracement. Okay, on any market, I don't care what market you put up with market profile and the arrows. All right, so we're angled up. There's only three shots you have at going along in the market. And I don't care what market you look at. It's going to be the same way every single day, all in 2018, 2019, 2000, you know, 2020, it doesn't matter. If I'm angled up, I got three shots at going long. How do I do it? That's the first order of business. What is my trend? Am I trending or am I chopping? Like I said, you typically trend three or chop two during the week or chop three, trend two. You've got to know how to trade both markets. If I'm trending, if I'm angled up, I'm a net buyer. I'm looking for buy retracement or buy arrows with Ninja 8 coming out. So if I'm, if I'm a net buyer, i got three market profiles. Don't let this confuse you. It's very simple. Very simple. i got three market profiles, and they're all colored the same color. Green is low value area. Red is high value area. Blue is the control point. Now, let me tell you the order of importance. The most important market profile that I have in this room, and I don't use 30-minute market profiles. They're worthless. I use VWAP or price profiles important. I got volume profiles are very important because this blue market profile will tell me it's not a 30-minute market profile. It's more institutional level. It lets me know that that's the most volume that's traded in the market in that session. Okay? Now, how do I trade it? If I'm in an uptrend, I got three shots at going long. I have three profiles. My volume profile is my solid green, solid blue, solid red. That's the most important profile I have in my room. My second most important profile, I have two of them. I have a thin green line and a thin red line. My third and last least most important is price profile. These are the green dots and the red dots. Okay? When those three overlap or intersect with each other within a couple ticks, two or three ticks, you have what's called a stacked level. Stacked levels can turn markets all by themselves. Without the arrow coming out, remember the arrow and Ninja 8 is going to show me the sweet spot because we don't need the J signal no more although I'm still going to give it to you because it has Elliott waves on it, if you lease the program, it shows me right here an arrow will produce at that level to go long. Because I said before the market even came down, bounce, I said this is where we look for a long. And it did exactly that. Why? Because I have price profile, which are my dots, green dots, price LVA, and my control point was within two ticks of each other. I'm in an uptrend. What's my methodology say in an uptrend? I just typed it in. Let me read it. Uptrend. Buy LVA down here. Buy green. Look, I got three times area stack. I got my volume profile, which is my solid green. I got my developing profile within a couple ticks of each other. And here's my moving average to give you extra confluence. But that's not as important. So I have two times area stack here for a V bottom. That's your first shot at it. Your second shot is the control point. You can only trade the control point, which is the most volume that's traded, and this has been around since 1985. It's worked for 32 years, same exact way. You can only trade this blue line if I break out and I retest blue. I do not trade this if the market's flat. I ignore it. 
I do not trade, let me reiterate, do not trade a blue market profile if the trend is flat or chopped. I sell red and I buy green with arrows. I do not trade blue. Let me repeat that. I only trade blue with trend. If trend is up, look for a break, look for a retest, look for a long. And this is a trade that I called out before it happened this morning on the mic when I got on this morning. That bounced perfect for us on our first target. Okay? So, that's your second shot at an uptrend. Your third shot, if price comes all the way up the high value area, and look how we're stacked up here, right? We're stacked up here. I got my volume profile, red and red, my developing with this one tick of each other, and I got my, I got my uh, price profile there. So that's a stack level resistance right here. That's resistance. Now, if I was in a downtrend <clears throat> and I got a red arrow, would I sell it? Absolutely. Anywhere in here with this zone. I would sell that without even thinking about it. Why? I'm in a stack market profile area and I got a red arrow. In a heartbeat, I would sell that. Not even thinking about it. Because I'm stacked three times market profile stacked. I'm in a downtrend. But if I get an arrow that fires here and I'm in an uptrend, I don't take that arrow. Right? It may turn the market, and a lot of times it will turn the market and go straight down. But I'd rather see it break out, retest, and give me an arrow long on the breakout. So I'm showing you how when the arrows produce with Ninja 8, you can use market profile where they're stacked to cherry pick your trades. Uh, if, if, I, if I showed you all the trades, which had 4,000, what, six, 700 trades on crew by itself off of a five sim Renko, longer term Renko, can you imagine the accuracy you're going to have? Uh, without even an arrow today, I called this trade bounce all by itself. Without an arrow. I did it manually myself by just looking at market profile. It said, I'm in an uptrend. I know from experience, and I'm smarter than the average market profile trader, I know that I buy retracements in uptrends. I buy stack level, or three times stack, or two times stack. I got two times stack there at blue before it happened. I said, look for the bounce here or here. Look for market delta to change. Sure enough, look at my market delta. There it is. Market delta changed. Got our first target off. Now we scale 50%, see if the runner can run, right? Because I do got resistance here at triple stack market profile. So that's my second opportunity to go long. My third opportunity to go long is what? I can keep my runner and see if I can go break even plus one, see if this thing can get some legs and run, right? Now if I get stopped, I'll wait for the next trade. But if not, if I'm not, if I'm not in a position yet, I can go long right now. I only got three shots at a long. So what I got to do, I got to wait till it breaks out of high value, it retest high value, and this is where you look for an arrow ninja eight or go long with positive market delta. So that's how you do long, guys and gals. You look for a long, and you got three shots at it if the trend is up. You get three shots at it. That's it. And if you don't, you should be a net buyer at these three levels. You should see arrows fire at these three stack levels. There I'm stacked. There I'm stacked, there I'm stacked. In fact, if I get a red arrow come up here, I don't even mind you shorten counter trend trade in the market. Arrows are so accurate. I don't even mind you shorten if it comes right there. If you put your stop two ticks above that swing high. Because what you're going to find, some of these arrows will be the session high. And you're going to see tons of them. And tons of market next year, where after midnight, my arrow will produce on triple stack market profile, it's a session high against trend. I would only do that if you're at a brick wall where you're triple stacked, and it happens all the time. Other than that, you should be a net buyer on retracement. Okay? So that's your three opportunities to go long. Now, the opposite would be on shorts, right? If I'm trending down, I'm in a downtrend, Magenta uh, MA is in a downtrend, what would I do? If I'm in a downtrend, I'm smarter than the average bear, right? I'm not going to buy low value area. We had this happen. Last week, we had five big trend days, over 100 ticks on crude. It worked out perfect. Arrow produced. We also got market profile in the room. What you do is, if I'm in a downtrend, it's opposite. Watch. You let the LVA break, let it retest, right? And then you do what? You look for a what? You look for a red arrow short. Just the opposite. If I'm in a downtrend, I would look for a retracement. I look for a red arrow. I have a lot of them last week. We had four back-to-back -back arrows last week that worked out great. But that's what you look for on a downtrend. In a downtrend, it'd be the opposite. I'd flip it. i look for a break retest of the control point like this. 
just the opposite of what just happened. I look for a retest of control. Right? Just the opposite of the longs. It's not hard. And then I look for an arrow short right there at the retest at the stack level. See how easy it is to remember? Not hard. So then, in a downtrend, I would look for an arrow here or negative market delta, since you have Ninja 7. I look for an arrow there. Then I look for a V top because I'm not in a downtrend. I'm not. I want to sell HBA if it gets up to it in a stack level. So if I can, you'll see this a lot. They'll come up to the stack level. Let's say this this level is stack, which it is, and we're in a downtrend. Legit MA is in a downtrend. You come up to this level, and you're in a downtrend. You're going to sell a V top. Look how simple that is to remember. Very simple to remember. See that? It's just the opposite of my long. Right there. She has the opposite of my long. And it works like that every single week, every single day in all markets. So I would look for what? If it comes up there very V top, give me a red arrow right there. So when I'm in a downtrend, and let's say the magenta was angled down, there we go. If I'm angled down like this, See, we're up right now, so we bought that. But if we're mangled down, I would sell this. Break retest low value area. I don't buy low value area. That's for novice traders. Let it break. Let it retest. Let the control point break through. Retest. Let the HVA retest. And those are three ways. So I got three ways to buy and three ways to sell. And that's what I want you to produce. That's what I want you to trade when Ninja 8 produces the arrows. If it's, and if it's stacked, if there, this is three times area stacked up here, for goodness sakes. I mean, the market can roll over right here, and this could be the high of the market. This could be the session high. Possible. Because I got one, two, three profile stacks. And I know I can't go long here. I have to scale my contracts until what? I'm going to have to break out, retest for a long. So that's how we're going to trade all in 2018. We're going to let these three profiles dictate either three buys or three sells. Now, Let's say the Magenta MA is flat before you shut this off, Gerald. Let's say the Magenta MA is flat as a pancake. Guess what I do? I do not trade the middle at all. This needs to not be traded. Do not trade the blue control point. What I'll do is, is I will try to sell the high on the stacked area, and then I'll try to buy the low. So in a flat market, If the magenta is flat as a pancake, I'm going to do what? I'm going to ignore the middle, and I'm going to take arrows on the outer edges right here. So then, see, I'm going to ignore the whole middle. If, let's say, the magenta is flat or angled down a little bit, angled up a little bit, it can't be like this, and it can't be like this. Like, crude, just had a nice buy setup, too, which I'll go over in a sec. can't be like that, right? I'm just angled down. The, the white MA is crossing down, too. It's just chop, right? Then all I want you to do is I want you to sell the high with the red arrow. I want you to buy the low in the first and second test. That's what you do in chop. And then let it break out, let it retest, go back into trend. Now look at this. Do you think it's just by chance? Do you think it's just dumb luck? Dumb luck, right? Comes into three area, brick wall, stack area. This is how traders can put limit orders in. You think it's dumb luck. It came into my triple stack market profile right there, and the market sells off just like I said it might, right? No, it's order flow. You guys are starting to see this, right? So if you got an arrow that fires off at that level, so I said scale. See the stacked area? Three times market profile stack, you're going to see it happen over and over again. All you really need to do is trade off this black chart. Black chart with the arrows that produces, because you got your support and resistance because of the roadmap of market profile. You got it. And just called the low, now just called the high. Pretty neat, huh? 